Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to enable or disable later the taskbar transparency in Windows 10. It's actually got some weird name now, acrylic something or other. There's no settings to change the transparency, but this is how it looks. So it kind of can give you a little more screen real estate and people seem pretty interested in it. So let me show you how to do it. You can edit the registry or download our registry files. The link's right here. You can find that in the video description. Hit the pop down and you'll see it. Go ahead, click download now or choose one of the locations, you'll get the file. And once you have the file, open it up. And in some cases, I've double clicked it to enable it. And click run. Click yes at user account control and you're gonna click yes one last time. In some cases I've had it work immediately. You might see a change here. Let's see, click okay. Now as you can see there's nothing here I don't think. Yeah, you can see through it. It worked. There you go. If it didn't work, go ahead and reboot, and it will. I was actually trying it earlier. This is take two of the video because it didn't work the first time. Why? I don't know. Sometimes you think you know everything. I don't know nothing. There we go. We'll hit that disable and click OK again. And as you can see, we need to reboot. So there you go. No... No, uh, no way of knowing for sure how or why, but now let's take a look at the registry way of doing things in case you like to do things the hard way. Uh, I'm guilty of that myself quite a bit. And here's the nice thing about it. It's really not that hard to do. So you're going to want to open up registry editor with a Windows key plus R and type in regedit. Click enter or click on OK, whichever you want. And just do the old copy and paste thing. Come over here and we're going to have to create two D words. One's going to be in this key, and then we're going to have to go over to this key. So, and they might actually be there now that I've been playing around. I don't know if I. There is your current version. Explorer Advanced. There's Explorer. There's Advanced. So we want to be right there at the Advanced, and we want to use a new D word, 32 bit value, and confirm both D words, the value data is one to enable or two to disable. So right click, new, D word 32 bit value, control V for the first one, use OLED taskbar transparency. Double click that, change that to a one to enable it, and you're all set with that one. Let's get key number two. Right there, highlight that. And once again, clear this out, use control V. Hit enter. And we want to once again create a D word just like we did, except we're going to call it this name and we're going to change the value data to one. Right click, once again, new D word, 32 bit value, control V, enter. Double click, one, all set. And again, you may need to reboot. Nope, that one worked. There you go. Now, the downside to doing that method is, if you know you, if you want to edit the registry yourself, you don't want to play with the registry file, that's great. The downside is, if you change your mind later and you want to come back, you're going to have to go to both of these keys you just created and delete them. So you'd have to go back where you were, right click, and then you'd have to delete it. So you'd have to do that twice. So that's the downside. So for example, there's force effect mode, I'd have to come here, click the delete key, or click delete here and you have to do that twice so go ahead and grab the registry files that's my opinion you saw how easy it worked but everybody seems to get a kick out of it for some reason so here's your video on how it works thanks for watching as always see you